libertarians, over 95% of voters either don't know who libertarians are, yeah. or they see us as, even if they agree with us, even the majority of libertarians, self-identified libertarians who do not vote libertarian, the reason they don't is because they see us as a joke, they see that we, they believe that we can't get elected, and they think, well, why would I bother doing that? I'm going to try to figure out which side this time is marginally better than the would other. Would you say that stat one more time? 95%? What? Well, well, I mean, look at the numbers. Like, the highest we've ever gotten is, uh, what, with three point something percent with, with Gary yeah. and, and Bill. And that was in a time with uniquely, uh, with, with, with terrible candidates with uh, Trump and Hillary, like unpopular candidates. Yeah. Uh, Trump didn't have the following he did in 2016 that he did in 2020. <coughs> Who's the most popular I'm libertarian right now out there? The most 6%. popular. I'm polling now in New York State about 6%. Well, no, but in the, the country, in the well, country, who's the most popular? For his ninety-five percent people, who's, who's oh, I'm vocal? saying nationally. Yeah, who's yeah. Vocal? nationally, who's no. the most popular libertarian? Clint Eastwood is not vocal. Okay, uh, you got uh, Clint Eastwood, uh, 185 years uh, old. Who's Vince Vaughn is not vocal. Okay, mm -hmm. wish you got Rand Paul. That's very vocal, but you know, again, uh, Republican. Mm -hmm. He didn't run as a libertarian. Yeah, he ran as a Republican. Hybrid. Yeah, yeah. You know, you got Ron Paul, who is the OG, the guy that knows how to sell it better than mm -hmm. anybody else. That he's, but he's aging. He's yeah. not, you know. So you, you, there's a, there's a few of them. I mean, you, you, Joe Rogan no one... could be. Can see he voted for Joe Jorgensen. Yeah. He's you know, supporting the Libertarian Party. Um, but you know, those are the names. They don't have like you a, need a face. But hold yeah. on, guys, well, let yeah, me, yeah, please, here. I'm the guy running. Let me tell yeah. you this right now. Let me be very clear. We do have faces. It's just hard. We got guys like Shane Hayes running for governor in in, in Georgia. We got uh, we 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 got uh, Mark Tibbetts running in Bro, Texas. I've, if I've never right? heard of the names you're saying, yeah, yeah. yeah. then you don't have a face. We and have Ricky. If Harrington. I have to go Google Ricky Harrington, yes, because I've <laughs> never <laughs> heard of. By the way, go him Google and, Ricky and Harrington. Whoever do that. Tidbits is yes. You're missing the point here. Dude. I'm not. I'm here trying to get this out. You need no, but, a, like you need a Tom he, Hanks. You need a Rock. He, you need that. Okay, even but if we it's had so a Tom, clear. Even no, if I we had a you. Tom Hanks or a Rock, we still have to show people how our ideas work. That's and not that's, the debate, though. Oh, no, but, but no, clearly, you guys know what you're talking about. Yes, no, 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 please. No, no, clearly, no, no, you have no, great no, policy. Let, let me okay. deal with this for one second. I'm telling you why they're not coming to us. Because we don't have the infrastructure to support them. It isn't our ideas. We require infrastructure. Why would you run Libertarian when you'd have to fight to get enough people on the ballot? You'd have to fight to get on the ballot, period. You'd have to fight to get signatures. Fight to come up with a bunch of people who could support you. Fight to find a funding base. You, you don't run Libertarian because you don't care about Libertarian. But you don't run Libertarian because you can get a... Are you, you can saying, get a but I don't, I don't even Trump think you're saying... Or if The Rock ran as a Libertarian, they'd have a hard time... Yes, being that's successful. what they'd I'm... Have yes, no way. Well, yeah, no, no, no. Oh, I'm, let me be very do. clear. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure behind the scenes you're right. I'm not but you would you. get so many eyeballs and Does so not matter. millions but of that's Americans. A, that's the difference would between wake up. more votes. Yes, would they win? Absolutely not. And Thank a, you. A, another big part of that is. But that's the step by step process. It, it is step by step, but, there, but there's through. another step by step process, do you not which see is me that, doing that the now. majority yeah, of voters. Yeah, but I don't know if you're popular enough. I like you. I think you're charismatic. The majority. You're not the rock, bro. Guys, let me let me hear what Spike is saying. Hang on, hang on one second. This one piece here. If you were correct. Yeah. Then Michael Bloomberg would be our independent president. He's not. But why? The system is is set up to not work. I don't think I'm going to save the world, but do I think I could be the guy who sets it up for the world to be saved? Yes, I do because I am building out the infrastructure as you said, step by step. Like we're not doing it. I'm mm -hmm. literally here doing it. Kudos. It is being done so that in 2024, in 2028, when uh, Kurt Russell decides to come aboard or Drew Carey, both libertarians, when one of those two guys come aboard, we have an infrastructure set. They're happy to do it or whomever is the rock comes over. We don't have enough to give them now, mm -hmm. but we have to build Build up, and we are, and well, it takes local people building up local groups, local infrastructure, donor bases, our uh, PR bases, all those things to make that happen. Well, Long before, can I? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Spike. Well, and. and the vast majority of voters, long before they want to, they trust a libertarian to handle the wars or China or immigration. They want to see how they handle their pothole in their in their yes. neighborhood. Like libertarians have won hundreds of local races, hundreds out of literally tens of thousands. We've won zero statewide races. We've won zero federal races. We won ve uh, zero of them. Yes, there's ballot access problems and everything else, but there's an even bigger problem, which is that most voters, even if they hear our ideas, they go, "Yeah, that sounds great in in theory." But 
how's it going to work in practice? Mm -hmm. We need to focus local. We need to build an actual infrastructure for the party to work our way up. Because if we get a Dwayne The Rock Johnson, he might, will he get double digits as a libertarian? Yes. Is he going to win it? Absolutely not. Because people at the end of the day, they're going to go, yeah, Dwayne Johnson, great, Rock, great. But this party, I know nothing about them. They've never won before. What would they actually do if they did one? Uh, you know, I, I'm worried about the the kitchen table issues like healthcare and education and housing and and the cost of living and everything else and just the fact that a very popular guy is run or 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 woman is running for office is not going to be enough for them to say okay I'm going to break free from the system that's been running this country for over a hundred years now we have to build the infrastructure so I think we need the and let, that will also bring in me, big let, names let why me, would the rock bring, come let to me us read right a now? super chat here from Hector Ross Larry knows what he's talking about Thank Howard you. Stern openly contemplated running Libertarian as New York governor but backed out for lack of infrastructure Thank at the time. You. I have some feedback there, but I want to hear David, and I want to kind of yeah. give you what I'm what I'm thinking. Go ahead. Okay, so I, I tend to agree. I think we're almost talking about different things here. I mean, look, if somebody like The Rock was truly converted to libertarianism, and like, I believe this now, and I want to be like the champion for it, that would be amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, that would be incredible what it could do for us. And I, so I agree with you on that. But the thing is this, right? You've basically had over the last, uh, let's say, 10, 15 years, right? You've had essentially third-party candidates who ran within the two major parties. So Ron Paul was a third-party candidate in spirit. He didn't believe what the, what the Republican establishment did. Bernie Sanders was essentially a mm -hmm. third-party candidate. And Donald Trump essentially won as a third-party candidate. However, the way the system is set up, in order for them to do that, it's not to their advantage to go to some third party. Right. It's to their advantage to stay in one of the major two parties. Mm -hmm. What we're sitting here saying is that the problem is that that never actually works for what mm -hmm. our desired right. outcomes are which is really rolling back the state. Now, Donald Trump, uh, I agree with Spike, kind of, yeah, if he had run third party, that would have made it a lot harder for him to do what he needs to do. I'd love for that famous person who can move yep. people by the tens of millions to come over to libertarianism. But in the meantime, what are we supposed to do? Yep. What are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to accept that these two parties who have, in effect, committed treason against the American people, and we know nothing's going to be solved from within them, that what we're just supposed to fall in line because this one is 5% better than the other one? Like, that's not good enough for me. And I don't so think anybody's saying that. Well, uh, my point is that this is the United yeah. States of America. We deserve something better than that. <clears throat> yeah. And so we're going to keep fighting to mm -hmm. try to get this message out to as many people as possible to hopefully put us in a situation where we can get somebody like yeah. that so, or whatever's necessary to move the needle. Look, I agree with you if tom hanks or the rock or some mm -hmm. crazy famous charismatic person wanted to take up the mantle for this i'd be thrilled yep. but since we don't have that right now I, the best I can do is try to get on as many huge platforms as I can, speak to as many people as I can, build up our army, you know, metaphorically speaking, not a real state army, <laughs> um, and and try to, uh, you know, mainstream non these man. views. Yes, a non-aggression non army. army yes. yes, exactly. Um, well, it sounds like you guys need to be able to walk and chew gum at the same time. Yeah. Because I didn't know that about the libertarian infrastructure. Yes. Like, I'm learning that. We're all yep. learning that. But it sounds like you guys need to build out the infrastructure. Yes. But also get someone that gets eyeballs because yes. Joe Jorgensen's not the answer. We all yeah. know that. Let me, so if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.